Hey Creekers, happy Wednesday. We're continuing this study on spiritual disciplines, these practices and habits that will help us abide in Jesus or remain in Him on a daily basis and help us grow in Him. Today I'm just trying to practice what I preach, getting out into the distance, finding an opportunity for solitude. It's easier in the Jeep because you can just drive off the road and find yourself in the middle of nowhere. That maybe a Jeep commercial more than a spiritual thought. But today, I want to talk to you about the discipline and practice of prayer. We live in a culture in which we know a lot about things, but we've actually experienced very little. We can watch a documentary about life in India, but what do you know about what those people are really going through unless you get in there? You see, Wikipedia has a ton of information for us, but do we actually experience what we talk about when we say having a relationship with Jesus? You see, if we don't actually take the time out to pray, we just can be filled with a bunch of knowledge from Scripture, but not actually have the relationship with Jesus Christ, where we have conversations and we confide in Jesus. Do we have an experiential walk with Him? Him, as if he was a real person right next to you. You see, prayer is to be in the presence of God, to be in communion with God in a way that has been made for us by Jesus as our high priest, our mediator, so that we have access to God and we can live in communion to God, pouring out our heart to him and listening to his voice. But do we actually practice that? Because if we don't, we're not really living in relationship to Jesus because we're not relating to Jesus. We just kind of know a lot about God, like I know a lot about Matthew McConaughey. Why him? I don't know. I guess because I know a lot about him, but I don't actually have a personal relationship with him. We don't hang out anymore. Uh, I don't want my relationship with God to be like that. You see, if, if we tell everyone we have a relationship with Jesus, but we don't actually relate to him through prayer, then the book of Proverbs says we're like a cloud that never rains. It's like, oh, look, a cloud. Is, is it going to rain? Oh, no, there's, there's nothing in it. You see, we're basically all talk. No one else knows if you pray. So it's just between you and God. So just between you and God, over this last week, over this past month, how much was prayer a part of your life? How much was prayer a part of your routine? How much was prayer a part of your schedule? Time taken out to intentionally talk to God. Not just asking for stuff, but adoring and praising God. You see, usually when we pray, it's either before meals or it's in a time of crisis. Like, I need something! And that's not a bad thing. Because God says, bring me your needs, cast your cares upon me. God is the giver of good gifts. But in our prayer, let's deepen and broaden our prayer to include adoration and praise. In our prayer, do we ever begin just by saying, God, you are amazing and I want to exalt you. You are good and you are merciful and you are kind and you are everlasting. See, that's what we mean when we say adoring and praising or are confessing and repenting in prayer. You see, in prayer, you can't hide anything. If your life was deteriorating, if my spiritual life was deteriorating, we could all hide that for a point in time. Uh, we can wear masks and fool people. But five seconds in prayer and you're exposed. You can't hide anything with God. He sees everything. So you might as well confess it. You see, the strangest thing would be in prayer if to have knowledge in your own heart and your own mind of what we were doing that we should not be doing, or to have knowledge in your own heart and mind about ways you're rebelling against God, ways you are sinning, and not talk about that in front of God. It's like he knows that. Who do you think you're fooling? You see, prayer helps to keep our relationship with Jesus real because there's nobody else there we're trying to impress. We're not putting on a mask for people and God knows what's really going on. So when you pray, follow the conversation where it leads and confess these things to God. That's why Jesus died, is to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness and shame. So this week, I want to encourage you, schedule some time alone and with others for prayer. Carve out time in the morning or at night or in a few short little spurts during the day. Simply drive off the road and find a spot in the field and just spend some time with God and pray and connect with God. See, our goal is to live in a constant state of awareness of God's presence in our lives. He is always with us. He is always paying attention. It's a matter of when we turn our attention to him. 
We love you guys and we will see you tomorrow.